Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great evening. And so today we're going to talk about what I'm sure you're, many of you are well aware of, and that is the Longshoremen Union Strike and its uh, infamous president here who is uh, putting out a list of demands um, about what needs to happen. Now, the severity of the uh, longshoremen uh, union strike, the port strike, um, is that it can greatly, this is going to be a great deal more severe than probably most strikes we've seen in our lifetime, right? Because this is going to uh, restrict key ports within the United States, over 40, 45,000 union workers, um, not working to import, whether it be food, medicines, uh, electronics, uh, everyday, uh, everyday use items that uh, many of us uh, probably will need. You're going to see your grocery stores get thin. You're going to see prices rise high. You're going to see people lose jobs. Uh, you're going to see people not get paid uh, and lose their livelihood. And this is all happening based on the entire point almost of our channel really like 99.9% .9 of our channel. And that is talking about what to do about automation. Where do we use that through trying to solve the problems with cryptocurrency, which has been uh, a key direction for us. Um, this comes down to that. Now, what has been a lot of pushback uh, for people who just didn't seem to get what this channel was about, or people who, uh, you know, looked at it for more entertainment value and maybe they didn't quite get that and they kind of fell off and went away. Uh, the, the manifestation of this, the, the key issue now is that, unfortunately, whereas before we could have tried to deal with this in a preventative way, now it just seems like we're going to be dealing with the problem of automation, universal basic income, and reactionary ways, which is the worst way you can deal with something. And that's what the president of the Longshore Union workers are doing now. Uh, there is no um, uh, negotiate or uh, reasonability now. There is, there's not gonna be any compassion for whether you can get key medicines you need, uh, because every time they've tried that, much like our conversations about universal basic income falling on deaf ears, and people go, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, much like we've done that, uh, the Longshore union workers have been through that as well. And so now it's not about cross the bridge when we get there, it's that they're on the bridge and the bridge now is blockaded. Now people will wake up to this. Now people will have to deal with this. Now people who didn't have time uh, for prior or give attention to it before now have to do that at their own very harm, unfortunately. Now this isn't quite new as many people have underlined. Uh, we get one major incident like this over 200 years ago called the, um, I believe it was the, Lut the, the, the Ludwigs, right? And these were, this went up from about 18, I'm sorry, the Ludites. What did I say? The Ludwigs, the Ludites, they went on from about 1811 to 1817, where you start to see the precursors of automation, the very first generations of sewing machines and things like that. And they would destroy these sewing machines, right? Uh, they would destroy these sewing machines and hope that their jobs wouldn't be lost to technology and automation. Now, of course, we know what happens. Technology shot on and went on. These people who did lose their jobs in that area is going to always be that way. And the problem with what the, the Longshore Union workers are attempting to do is that although they've been offered a 50% wage increase, uh, 
they're hoping that within the contracts, right, that they can stop Artemis from taking their jobs. Meanwhile, in China, uh, they have um, uh, ports with over $70 billion invested, fully automated, where you got some guys using 5G to control uh, remotely some things on the docks. You know, maybe got one guy who could control hundreds of what would be equivalent to workers as such uh and so on right uh and it gets real bad now the the other 800 pound gorilla many of us haven't dealt with is that instead of dealing with uh situations like automation universal basic income uh we thought that we can wait right to the last moment to deal with it N no what we're going to start to see now is a lot of jobs who see automation a a uh, clear and present threat, they're going to act now before it comes, like what the longshore shoreman union workers are doing, and try to get contracts to stop automation from taking their jobs, which isn't going to work. But what it is going to do is put us in chaos and put us in uh, a lot of problems, right, that aren't going to be good. And this is going to continue on with various industries uh, where automation is going to take their work. Uh, now, you might say, well, it's different with the Longshore Union uh, uh, workers, right? That in their particular case, they're controlling key elements of things we need, right? Food, medicines, and all that. No food in the grocery store, serious business. But um, there are other things other uh, industries can do, right? They can block highways, right? They can hold up buildings. There's a lot of things that can happen. Now, in addition to that, uh, you think the federal government could come in and do something, but what exactly can the federal government do in a case like with the longshoremen workers, right? There are certain powers that President Biden has, but as we get to see, the president of the longshore worker says, no problem, he's ready to fight all of that. You cannot force people to work, right? You can... <laughs> They can show up to the job. It's just like state workers, right? Uh, you know, they threaten to fire them if they don't go to work. But what is the quality of this work, right? Because these people can, something that uh, should only take five minutes, it could take the whole shift for them to do. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So this won't work. Uh, I'm going to make this a long video, but I just want to be clear that this is about automation, clearly. That this is the only thing that's holding it up. They've already got the wage increase. Right. That's already on the table. They're already doing that. They want these people to stop technology, which you can't do right for every day that this is held up. We're losing five days. That means this goes a week. You're well over a month out of correcting this. Right. So this is a very serious business. That means for every day we lose, we're losing like a week. Right. And there is no contract on the table as far as stopping automation. These they have one of the easiest jobs to automate away, but if you look at the age of these people who came into this uh, this this uh, industry, well paid industry, uh, these guys might be 30, 50 years old, right? And there may not be a lot of young people in this industry. I'm, I don't know a whole lot about the industry, but from what I can see and what I've been seeing on those uh, strike lines. Uh, you know, these are some seasoned individuals, which means, which leads us next to, uh, they probably can't be retrained. A, a lot of these industries aren't going to be able to retrain people, right? And so what we've talked about are projects or cryptocurrencies. And to be quite honest, right? And this came as no surprise to me because I can tell that uh, up until about maybe several years ago, people didn't even know what universal basic income was. But basically what it's coming down to is solve, to solve the problem of the strike. You got to get more money into these people's hands, right? Whether it's direct cash, however you want to say it, raising their wages. And it's got to be to account for a job loss that has potential in the future, right? No job's going to be able to do that. No job's going to be able to meet those demands, right? So this is a, <laughs> this is a, a mission with a zero success rate, right? 
They're not going to get what they want. What they are going to do is cause us great suffering, right? That's that's all that's going to happen with this. Just like the Luddite Rebellion, this is not going to stop technology. There is no way. These people know they can make trillions of dollars without the human worker, and they know that these guys can live a very little time without their paychecks. These guys' livelihoods are... You know, these guys can't feed their families while they're doing this. And the eventuality of this is going to be the same. Guys, that's why it's so important that the few listeners I get to this channel who think universal basic income is crap or they think it's nothing that they can do. I think the longshoremen union workers are showing you that you can demand money, that they're going to get money, and that eventually everybody's going to get universal basic income and get money. It's just a matter of do you want to suffer and cause harm to yourselves in the interim? Do you want to increase the crime rate? Do you want to pay uh, ridiculous prices for groceries? Because these are all the things we're going to have to do until we correct this system. We're running on a capitalist model that may have worked perfectly fine 100 years ago. But since then, it's been imploding, right? As we march into this uh, advanced robotics uh, uh, revolution, right, which is going to create uh, more problems like this in industries across the board. Prior to this, of course, we've seen the actors, writers strikes, right, in Hollywood, uh, all this they're doing with uh, um, it, with the actors, right, the, the Actors Guild, by creating uh, computer-generated extras, putting a great deal of uh, beginning actors out of work, which really only leaves your key star people, which are is a very small percentage. You know, your your top actors is a very small percentage in acting. Um, if you don't understand the importance of universal basic income at this stage, our cryptocurrency project, our social media way for you to own the social media and to uh, share in the value that comes out of that. If you don't get that by now, just pay attention to this strike because what this strike is, it is a amalgam of, er uh, of a much bigger macro system of what we're going to see um, in our economy and the devastations is going to be caused, right? You know, even when they speak about, oh, we got through all these industrial revolutions, People die, right? National Guard had to come in. This is where we get Labor Day from because of all of the chaos created by people losing their jobs through automation. But the fourth industrial revolution is something entirely different. This is something you can't come back off. This is robots, computers, artificial intelligence at levels far beyond human comprehension. Look at these new robots they got out now that have a great deal more dexterity than humans. Look how they use their hands. Look at all this stuff. Look it up. And if you're still one of those people going, oh, I just don't like the feeling of universal basic income. I just don't like how it makes me feel, right? Look at the Longshore Union workers and ask why are they demanding automation be stopped, right? if universal basic income isn't that important or it's not going to be a problem. It is a problem for them at this very moment. That's why all this is happening because they fear. And I've seen these robots, these large robots that sit on these docks that could do all their jobs, right? And these people can't be retrained to do anything else, right? I know people think it's easy to retrain entire workforces, but you may find that that is very difficult, if not impossible, which leads, which means how do you, how do these people survive? How do they make an income? How does it mean many people live, right? And this is going to be widespread across the globe. So how are you going to feed them, right? So of course, we know anytime work stops or uh, big societies of people can't function, much like we see in the pandemic, they're going to start checking out checks, right? But the problem is going to be how they're going to do it at the point they're going to deliver it at the most fragile point is going to be the most devastating way they can do it. 
right? And that's probably why the longshoremen union workers are starting from this gradual point. They're not waiting. They're not just taking the 50% increase and going, okay, well, that everything else will be fine. They know the robots are going to replace them, much like we know universal basic income is going to be necessary to give these people a livelihood. They're not going to be able to compete with these robots. They can't do it now. Look at the ports in China, right? China's going to surpass everyone in artificial intelligence because their artificial intelligence data collection is in the billions, right? They have billions of people they can collect data off. We don't. We have hundreds of millions, right? Um, and so that's how you win the AI uh, revolution, by the data. That's how these machines run. This is the fuel they require. I'm not going to make the video any longer, guys, because I guess I've been running this project in this channel now over six years. And I've been introducing it as the most important message, probably in human history, right? But I have 2,500 subs. Meanwhile, we have YouTube content creators with millions of subs, right? Hundreds of millions of subs, right? Cutting the fool on YouTube. <laughs> and um, I don't say that bitterly. I say that because I'm concerned about our priorities, right? Because the problem is even after watching this video uh, and looking at our project the last six years, that is, you know, it's growing, but it is not growing fast enough for the disaster and the major rural issue in human history we're facing. Nowhere near faster than that than what Mr. Beast was able to do. So that means we don't have our priorities straight at all. Maybe this channel should have a billion users like Mr. Beast, right? Um, but we understand people kind of go into entertainment, into uh, things that they find exciting like that. I understand. I just, it's, you know, I'm joking with this, um, you know, partially, but this is uh, quite serious, right? And we do have to, uh, you know, figure out, uh, do we have to go through such devastation to get it? Uh, because unfortunately, that's about to happen this week. And uh, it is going to wake people up and it is going to cause more viewers to the channel. It's going to cause more users to the project. It's going to cause universal basic income cryptocurrencies to do well and all. But isn't it a shame that it takes all of that? You know, isn't it a shame that it takes all of that to get you away from meme coins? It takes all of that to get you away from Bitcoin that can't do anything from you. It takes all of that to get you away from Ethereum that can't do anything for you, right? Um, it takes all of that to get you talking about universal basic income and taking it serious. Isn't it a shame that it takes all of that, right? Your kids going hungry, your grandparents not being able to get a life uh, threatening medication. Uh, all of that, right? To be work to, to when we have, could have been solving this problem decades ago. When have, sorry about that, Universe guys. We could have been watching this channel, learn about universal basic income. And there have been half a million people who have seen this. So, you know, I know a lot of people come to me and say, oh, well, you know, uh, you're, uh, you're not getting your channel out enough, enough. You're not working hard enough on it. You're not, uh, you're doing the videos from a, uh, from a, uh, a smartphone <laughs> and instead of high quality video cameras and, 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 and so forth. Right. But how much do you need to take serious a Armageddon-like message, a catastrophic message. Do you really need all of that to get it and to uh, take it serious? Really? You need video editing to take this serious. You need your job to be automated away uh, 
to take this serious. In the meantime, you're just going to bury your head in the sand until it happens, right? If you're one of those people who don't know what to do, I'm not going to go another 20 minutes. I'm going to give you something you can do. And that is join our community on social media platform that's going to distribute universal basic income through cryptocurrency called BitcoinMYK.com. That is probably one of the easiest steps, easiest things you could do right now to help to resolve this issue. Because make no mistake about it, this issue is going to affect you now. It's going to affect you directly. And even after this particular situation is resolved, we're going to get more industries on top of this one and on top of that one. So it's not going away, right? You can start to do simple things to solve a difficult problem now, or you can try to have to do very difficult things to smart to solve a very difficult problem, if we even can, later. Guys, that's all I want to say in this video. Till next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.